Hi, and welcome to War Thunder Update 1.57 Battle March. New combat vehicles and aircraft, two new game maps, and improvements for existing ones. What did the work? You have the fun. Let's begin with locations. Welcome to Frozen Pass and Volokolamsk, two entirely new snowclad maps. The combat will now unfold amidst the picturesque alpine landscapes. You will feel at home here, whether you're a fan of urban battles or long-range sniper duels. The mostly flat Volokolamsk depicts the typical rural countryside of Russia, dotted with fortifications. The game developers have not forgotten the older maps either. Kursk now has a village in its center, which should attract more players towards the map's middle and offer new tactical solutions to the familiar location. Now, on to the ground vehicles. The US Army will now have access to the Super Pershing. All the good stuff from the old Pershing, but better. Its 90mm cannon is extremely powerful while its additional armor plates boost its already considerable toughness to a whole new level. The Germans will now have an entirely new range of open-top tank hunters. Their calling card is extremely powerful weaponry. Let's start with Panzer Jäger 1, Germany's first mass-produced self-propelled gun. The Dicker Max, just like its heavier Soviet counterpart, the KV-2, was designed to demolish enemy fortifications. Dicker Max's name in English stands for Fat Max, but its 105mm gun is no laughing matter. Finally, there's the mighty Nashorn, a real professional in the tough business of destroying enemy heavy tanks. Its amazingly powerful weaponry compensates well for the Nashorn's very light armor. Need your armor tougher? The now familiar thick-skinned Tiger II is about to have a new heart of the machine. A more powerful SLA-16 diesel engine and some extra armor created from track links mounted all over the turret sides. More mobility, more protection, more options. Up next is the USSR. The original KV-1 was a real nightmare for Germans in the early months of their invasion, but still, the machine suffered from numerous design flaws. Further development resulted in the KV-1S. As for the Russian word Skarasnoy, which means fast in English. Decreased mass and a new turret were a major improvement over the original model. This is the tank for players who want their vehicle to be the jack of all trades. The T-44-100 with spaced armor and 100mm D-10T cannon, the very same gun that has proven its worth in top-tier combat with the T-54s. With all this firepower, the new T-44-100 could become one of the most popular medium tanks of the game. The Soviet SPAAG family is also growing. Meet the 94KM, a pair of 25mm cannons mounted on a truck. Great Britain's recent additions in the Army tab are also expanding. Falcon, the top British SPAAG with twin 30mm cannons, has been added to rank 5 and is ready to spit pounds of hot metal every second. Also at rank 5, there's now the Conway self-propelled gun, designed by the British to potentially combat the Soviet IS-3 heavy tanks. Armed with a ground-shattering 120mm L1 cannon and a decently armored rotating turret. Finally, there's the crown jewel of the British medium tank line, the Chieftain Mark III. The sloped armor of this mighty warrior will force the enemy to waste precious seconds for a better shot as its 120mm fast-firing gun punishes the fall for this error. The new British top tank is one of the best tanks in the game, hands down. Let's take it to the skies. The US now have access to the P61 Black Widow, a heavy twin-engine night fighter and two of its modifications. This warbird is equally deadly from all sides, since even its defensive turret has four tightly packed Browning 50 cal machine guns and has a near-perfect 360-degree coverage of the top of the plane. The Brits have themselves a new bomber, and a floating one at that. The S-25 Sunderland is just humongous. The Sea Venom, a good old jet fighter, now enters the game with its naval modification and a two-seat cockpit. The USSR Air Force is about to get a new machine unlockable via special events, MBR-2, a very unusual looking aircraft. Its single engine mounted outside the fuselage can either be a bait or a prime target depending on the pilot's skill. This plane will become available soon via one of the in-game special events. The Germany is also having a major expansion in its air fleet. Meet one of the oddest aircraft of War Thunder, DL-335. Blazingly fast, powerful and armed to the teeth, this twin-engine push-pull machine is now available in three modifications. Fans of Boom and Zoom got a real surprise waiting for them. The TA-152C, five of its cannons, can turn pretty much anything into Swiss cheese in a blink of an eye. There is one more interesting German aircraft in this update, FW-189 Uhu, or the Owl. This light reconnaissance plane is the second machine to become available only via in-game events, so keep a close eye on those news. 
The new Japanese twin-engine Ki-83 should be able to compete with any enemy at its rank. Powerful cannons are included. Update 1.57 Battle March is not just about new locations and vehicles. The game mechanics of ground warfare are also getting a major overhaul. From now on, ground vehicles will not be destroyed if only a single crew member survives after a hit. The last man will fight it out till the end by switching between the driver, loader or gunner positions as required. This new game mechanic should be especially beneficial for those machines with a small crew, which were previously very easy to destroy with a single shot. What about arcade combat? Now it will have even more speed and action. The global engine settings have gained a boost, and even the heaviest ground machines will move slightly faster in War Thunder arcade tank battles. These are but a fraction of the additions and changes we would like to share with you. Take a look at this new update yourself and see it all with your own eyes. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow the news on our official webpage, use the forums, browse and submit works of War Thunder Live, and follow our official page on Facebook. See you all on the battlefields of War Thunder.